What's up everybody, my name is Bobby and today I'm going to be giving you guys a really exciting review. So if you've been a subscriber of mine or if you've checked out any of my previous videos, you've probably heard me talk about MagSafe accessories for the new iPhones. Um, and the company Zira specifically. So Zira has been a big supporter of the channel for a while now and they reached out to me and actually sent me out a brand new product of theirs. Now, before I dive too deep into it, Zira is essentially the epitome of extra functionality for a really aggressive price, which are two kind of the major criteria that I look for when recommending a product for you guys. I look for something that's going to give you more options and more functionality than the traditional options on the market and priced in a way where honestly you're paying less for something that's of really high quality. So Zira has continued to deliver upon this and I'm extremely excited to show you guys their version of the MagVolt battery backup 2.0. Um, so this is Zira's second iteration of the MagSafe battery. So a while back, they actually sent me their version 1.0, which I showcased in a couple of videos that I've had on the channel in the past. Um, it was part of like my MagSafe battery showdown where I showed like a couple different options and kind of talked about what I thought was like the best option. And they listened to all the feedback that customers had for them and they upgraded and revamped and released their version 2.0, which in my opinion does not disappoint and is for sure worth checking out, so stay tuned. Now, just as a refresher for you guys, Apple's MagSafe battery, this guy comes in at $100 and it's only gonna charge your device at five watts of output. And honestly, it's probably the slowest MagSafe battery pack on the market. Now, in my review of this guy, I did touch on why that is and you know, there's definitely some benefits to that slower charging and Apple's you know, engineering and all that stuff, which you know, warrants the price tag, I guess, of $100. But depending on what you're looking for, some people care about faster charging more than they care about battery health and battery longevity. So for those people that I've talked to, which is honestly the majority, um, most people are looking for something that they're going to be able to use their phone while it's charging. It's going to charge their phone up faster. It's going to have a longer overall battery capacity. All of these things are typically more important to most people, along with the price point, which is, you know, the Zero option that we're talking about today. This guy is on sale right now for $45. It's a 5,000 milliamp battery, and then it also is gonna charge your device at 7.5 watts as opposed to the five watts with the Apple version. Now, as far as form factor, they're actually like identical in just the way they look, um, you know, size wise. I think Zero definitely took some cues from the way Apple designed their battery. Theirs is actually a little bit thicker though because it is a bigger battery. Um, it is a little bit thicker. It's a pretty similar texture I would say. They both have like a matte finish but the Zero option is going to be a matte black finish um, with the Zero branding whereas Apple's will be the matte white finish with the Apple logo on it. And personal preference, I honestly like the blacked out look a little bit better myself. Now, another neat thing is the Zero battery it does use USB-C to charge your device. Um, and it also has a button to activate the charging from the battery pack, along with some LED indicator lights to let you know how much battery is left in the actual battery pack itself. Now, speaking of that USB-C charging that I talked about, this bundle actually for $45, it actually comes with a braided nylon USB-C to USB-C cable. Now I've been a fan of Zero's cables in the past. They have these really cool like magnetic style cables um, that I've showcased in older videos. But when it comes to like a braided cable, this one is super slick. Like this is honestly one of the most durable, thick, high quality feeling USB-C cables that I own. Um, even like the housing around the actual USB-C part feels really good quality. Uh, this is like a beast of a cable. So if you're looking for like one USB-C cable to kind of rule them all, this one is not a bad option. And on their website, they do actually say that this is capable of passing through 100 watts of power. Now, I kind of touched on it earlier in the video, but Apple's MagSafe battery, the biggest thing is, is that this one is not gonna heat up in your pocket. So out of every battery I've tested, and I've tested a ton of them, every single one of them warms up in your pocket and you can definitely feel that heat transfer going wirelessly from the battery to your phone. 
Um, and that can lead to things like battery degradation, which depending on how often you upgrade your phone, it's not the biggest deal. Even replacing the battery these days isn't super expensive. So it just kind of depends on how much you actually care about that. But if you're looking for something that's not gonna warm up in your pocket at all and charge your phone really slowly, Apple definitely still takes the cake. But this new version 2.0 of Zero's battery, I feel like this is like a second place in my book. So I did test it out a bunch. Um, I for sure did notice it warming up in my pocket, but it was less than other options that I've tested, like the Mophie or even the older version of the Zero. I felt like this one was definitely a step in the direction of less warm in my pocket. Maybe it has something to do with like my new phone. I don't exactly know, but um, I did notice a difference in how hot it felt in my pocket. It didn't, it didn't get as bad as other ones I've tested in the past. Now, MagSafe strength, how strong are the actual magnets? Still very high quality. Zira's products, in my opinion, are some of the best as far as like third-party MagSafe strength. Um, they even, I don't know if it's like a software thing or if they're, how they're tricking the phone or whatever it may be, but I've noticed that like a lot of times when you put a MagSafe accessory on it, not all of them do that animation where it like shows the actual charging ring. I've noticed that almost exclusively that's like an Apple thing. Maybe that's changed and I'm just naive to it. But as far as that animation, I've really only noticed that on Apple products, the Zero products do it as well. So for what that's worth, if you care about that, it's a thing. But yeah, MagSafe strength, this guy's not gonna fall off unless you give it like a real genuine shake or you actually try to peel it off yourself. Um, it's, it's not going anywhere and it's really high quality. Now, touching back on that USB-C charging that I mentioned, um, you can actually use the USB-C port on this if you want to take a cable from here and plug it into another device and wired charge it to something. You're actually able to do fast charging up to 20 watts. So if you're finding that, you know, the 7.5 watts of wireless charging isn't quite cutting it, but you just want to use this as a normal battery backup instead of a wireless one, you can actually plug in a USB-C to lightning cable and charge your device at 20 watts or any other device um, up to 20 watts, which is kind of neat, which it's a pretty cool feature. And you can also do pass-through charging and like simultaneously charge the battery while you're charging your phone. So if you have this on your iPhone, and then you plug the USB-C cable that you would normally use to charge the battery um, into it. It'll charge your iPhone and it'll charge the battery pack at the same time. And it's kind of like a little cheat code if you want to use a USB-C cable to charge your iPhone. That way you don't have to pay a hundred grand for the one that's on eBay at the moment, the only USB-C iPhone. Now, being that this is a wireless charger, you can still charge any other device that uses Qi charging with this guy. So if you, you know, have AirPods and you wanna charge it, you can go ahead and do that. If you have the new AirPods that use MagSafe, you should be able to take advantage of that as well without having them fall off and having it align perfectly. So that's a cool little feature. Um, yeah, still a good wireless charger. Overall, nothing really groundbreaking about this upgrade, but it's a consistent upgrade and it's a really good like quality of life upgrade. So for me, for 45 bucks, you're getting a big battery, great features, really great price. Um, just overall, they killed it. I don't know. It's got really good build quality. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Zira and I really do appreciate you guys sending this out to me because this thing is sweet and it's turned into my go-to charger that I keep with me everywhere I go. I will be sure to have their products linked down in the description below. They have a ton of really cool stuff across the board from you know GAN 65 watt power chargers to like a whole bunch of different really cool stuff. So if you're interested in just cool tech gadgets from a company that gives you more functionality than you would traditionally get for like the most popular mainstream option at an even more aggressive price. I think Zero is definitely worth taking a look into. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you have any questions, 
Um, leave a comment down below. I pretty much respond to everybody pretty quickly. Um, I really enjoy kind of the community aspect of this whole thing and interacting with you guys. So if you have any questions, definitely let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, or you felt like you got something out of it, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me just grow this whole channel and everything that I'm trying to do here. So I really would appreciate it. And also if you want to give it a like and maybe hit the little bell notification, all those things help me out so i do appreciate it but yeah i'll leave the links everything i talked to down below along with my social media and my second channel where my girlfriend and i kind of do lifestyle vlogs so if you're into that kind of thing you can definitely check that out but that's been about it thank you zira and i appreciate you guys watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace